Hello Sharks, my name is Jack Stoughton. Um, today I'm pitching my idea about my app called Gas Up. Uh, this is an app that uh, helps users uh, find the cheapest gas option that there is. Um, and we do this with several things in mind. We look at the gas mileage that the car gets, we look at the distance to the gas stations, and we look at the price of the gas stations. And we're also looking to um, stay on the route of the driver, so we want to see where they're going, where they're coming from, and what gas station makes the most sense uh, to go to uh, with all that in mind. Um, so this this is an innovative new product. Uh, it's, a, it's an app that tells drivers where gas is cheapest for them, uh, and that's something that everyone needs. Uh, all drivers are looking to save a little bit of money on that. Um, there's similar apps. Um, but ours is different because we look to personalize the information to that driver and not just have them go on their phone when they need gas and say, I wonder where I should get gas. Okay, this place is cheapest. I'm going to drive there because that place could be out of the way. It could not be the cheapest when it comes down to how far they have to go for it or so on and so forth. Um, so app users for gas up are going to put their cars miles per gallon and their tank size into the gas um, data section of the app. Um, and the app does the rest. So the app knows when you fill up, uh, knows when your car's on, it connects to your car, knows when it's running, when it's using gas, and it takes all this data into account. And then it'll send you alerts um, when you're starting to get to the end of your tank um, where you should go get gas um, based on all that information. Um, so we work with gas companies as well uh, to make sure that we have a live data stream of what their gas prices are at the moment. Um, and that's, re that's reliable and accurate for us and for the users. Um, and it also happens to increase competition for the gas uh, companies in order to lower the gas prices even more for the users um, because they want to supply us with that information. They want their, their customer's business. They want our customer's business. And all that works together to drive up competition and prevent uh, a gas station who might be a mile farther from not being able to charge as much as one that's a mile closer because if you take into account that it's only a mile away and it's less than a gallon of gas, obviously, then a lot of people are, it's going to be more economically beneficial for them to go that extra mile, um, especially if it's not too, too far either way or um, off, a, off a highway exit, for example. Um, those gas stations that are really close happen to charge more um, and it just doesn't add up a lot of times. So we're looking to save the customers money um, and this, that's how we do it. So our target customer is really anyone who drives vehicles, um, whether they own the vehicle, renting the vehicle, whether it's their parents' vehicle, uh, as long as they're paying for gas and they're driving, like we're looking to target them. Uh, the inconvenience that a lot of these people are facing is overpaying for gas and losing money by doing that, losing money on the gas that they're spending to get to the gas station or losing time, uh, time very valuable as all of us know. Uh, the demographic uh, in my product's home state, I'm from Pennsylvania, I'm here right now for the summer, so I looked up some information for there. Uh, our, so we're looking at drivers who are 16 years old or older, or older here. Uh, that's the permit age here in Pennsylvania. Um, and we're also looking to target people with more financial struggles than others uh, because the, every penny counts for some people as opposed to others. Uh, everybody's gonna care about this. Everyone wants to save money uh, and everyone wants the best option for them, but those people with financial struggles are gonna be more interested in our app and our product. Uh, so our market, um, it's, a, it's a huge market. Obviously, you see all the people in, that are driving on the roads today. Uh, you see traffic, obviously, that kind of shows you how many drivers that are on the road um, and right now there are in 2018 according to the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation there were 8,969,204 licensed drivers in Pennsylvania so those people are all driving every day pretty much um, to work to school to their hobbies to whatever um, they're all using gas on vacations uh, whatever it might be uh, so they're looking to save some money that's a uh, almost 9 million people just in Pennsylvania, there's 50 states, uh, and then who knows what we'll do next. We could go global with this. We can look, uh, but right now we're starting out, and we're looking to just expand our market uh, in different states, different gas gas regions, um, partner with as many gas stations as we can. Uh, and there's some apps already on the market. There's Gas Buddy, AAA, Triptych, uh, and a couple of others that 
pair with apps like Waze and stuff, uh, but ours is the only one who really customizes the user's experience uh, to their car and their usage of gas. Um, we like to use personalized alerts for when um, a gas station is available um, for the cheapest price when you're when we know that that car is about to um, be pretty low on gas and get to that point where um, they probably want to start thinking about filling up but we also take into account how far that person can go without filling up um, and whether it's beneficial for them to go that far and find a gas station there um, or to go ahead and fill up where they are right now um, so we like to send alerts with all that information uh, and help users save the most money so we plan on winning our customers um, by building our app into what they already use. So their phones, obviously the people use their phones, but we also want to, um, we're working on building partnerships with car manufacturers like Chevy, Ford, Kia, uh, Buick, General Motors, all those guys, Tesla, even uh, the luxury brands, Porsche, BMW, Mercedes. Uh, we want to partner with them and have them build our app into their their interface, their computer system in their cars uh, so that it has even more data and easily easily obtained because phones aren't the most reliable thing when it comes to connecting to a car. So if we can connect our app to the car itself and use that, day, that data and know exactly when the car is going to be empty, we get to give the customers an even better experience. And we're still making money because we still have our apps, our um, advertisements and everything else. Um, so the better experience that we can give to those customers, that's that's what we want to do. Those those other apps aren't built in to cars, um, and then we also want to we want to pair up with uh, Apple Maps and have them um, have them use our technology in order to uh, work with the routes of the customers that the customers are driving, uh, in order to to find gas stations along that route and see how far they're planning on driving in that in that particular trip, and uh, what the most fuel economic option is. Um, for them uh, to save the most money on that trip. Um, so the idea is to determine the gas station that's the most fuel economic, uh, including the distance from the current spot, the fuel checking, um, the fuel price checking uh, in real time. So we know uh, who's charging what for gas and the most uh, route friendly uh, gas station. And we combine all those three factors uh, depending on where a customer is, uh, the gas station surrounding that spot and how far they have to go uh and the prices um and so that's how we kind of add everything together and figure out the most uh economically friendly uh place for that user to get gas uh we do that via algorithms uh we're looking to refine those algorithms uh make it an even better experience so we make our money uh, with in-app advertisements and by selling our data to gas stations, actually. So we like to get the gas stations involved um, so that they have an incentive to keep the prices low. Uh, we're very likely to be profitable uh, because we are uh, a very helpful product to, again, almost 9 million people in just the state of Pennsylvania. Um, and we're looking to become even more accessible to users by partnering with these car manufacturers and, and Apple. Um, and other um, transportation apps uh, that we could partner with are like Google Maps, Waze, etc. Um, but we're starting with Apple because we think that that's uh, our data shows that that's the most most easily used by a lot of customers um, with iPhones especially, and a lot of cars actually have a interface that connects to Apple. Uh, so that would make it easier to connect to the cars as well and partner with them. Uh, so what we're looking for really is a, a strong development team to, to help refine these algorithms, keep our data accurate to the second, uh, and the location, like every every foot of um, the users um, as they change. And we're looking at college graduates with degrees in statistics and business analytics to help us with that. Uh, we're also looking for, for money to help make our app as user-friendly as we can. We want to help um, all of our users be able to use the app, no matter how old they are, no matter how technology uh, sound they are. Uh, and we want them to have the best experience that they can. So we're looking for some, some money. We're looking for a hundred grand uh, for a 15% stake or so um, in order to look at that and help make that as friendly as possible and as um, 
as really as futuristic as possible and include as many aspects and, and helpful things as we can. So that's Gas Up. Uh, can't wait to hear from you guys, your thoughts, concerns, and uh, looking forward to making a deal with you guys. So.